Earlier this year, we released a few new SOLIDWORKS PDM videos dedicated to showcasing a couple of great new features in the 2023 version. Today, we'll take a look at a few updates that are a bit smaller, but can still have a big impact on improving your day-to-day -day experience with SOLIDWORKS PDM 2023. We'll begin by taking a look at a simple but great time-saving feature with the Administration tool, the Administration Auto Login feature. Alongside being able to log into the Vault view with automatic login, now you can configure your administration tool to automatically log you in, so you don't have to remember your admin password every time you want to modify your Vault settings. To enable this, simply go to the local settings and then settings here, and you'll bring up the window where you can make the change at the bottom. Click the drop down to select the Vault you would like to automatically log into. Next. Check the box to enable the auto login feature for that vault, and then enter the admin credentials with your secure admin password. Now I can simply expand the vault to view the settings without the login prompt. Next, let's talk about another change to the administration tool, which is aimed at making things look a little bit cleaner. The archive workflow states feature. Your workflow may end up needing to evolve over time as your internal process changes. As a result, you may need to make edits to your workflow which end up leaving states that you no longer need, but potentially can't delete because your files have been through them before. Instead of just leaving them in the workflow, you can archive them via right-click and they'll get neatly packed away in the window on the right, allowing you to unarchive them in the future if needed. Next, let's talk about setting up a feature to better monitor vault usage, the Logging File Retrieval Operations feature. Depending on your security concerns, it might be preferable to see exactly who is looking at files that are in your vault. With PDM 2023, you can enable a feature which logs all GET operations in your vault. To do this, right-click on the vault in the Administration tool and select Properties. From here, click the Get checkbox in the Logging Operations section. Once that is done, it should start logging. To view the log, simply right-click on the vault again and select Show the Get Log. Note that for my setup, I had the logging enabled previously to show you what things look like after you've had logging enabled for a while. Finally, we'll take a look at one last feature which allows you to easily see how long a file has been in a particular state, the days and state variable. This is something that can be ultimately viewable in either the normal file list column set or search result column sets. In this example, we'll set it for the file list column set so our users can easily see the values as they are browsing through the vault structure. To do that, we'll go to the Columns section of our Administration tool and then the File List columns. I'll edit my existing set, which I've named Explorer. I'll add a new column and click the drop-down to change the variable to Days in State. Note the presence of the comparator symbols, which indicates that this is a system variable, not a data card variable. I'll sort this to be next to my State column to have some context to go with it. Now let's see how it looks in the Vault view. With this new column, I can easily see how long my files have been sitting in a particular state. Implementing these general changes to your Vault should certainly prove impactful in making your Vault experience more efficient. We hope you found this video informative, and we invite you to keep an eye out for more SOLIDWORKS PDM videos from Hawkridge Systems. Thanks, and see you next time.